Um, hello everybody. Um, my name is Keith Carlock and for the past year or so or several years I've lost count. I've been repeatedly making um, public access videos about my whole theory about invisibility, adaptive camouflage and holodeck virtual immersion technology theory. Um, well, um, this this is different. This is going to be a series of uh, um, based on the same thing. I mean, not on the invisibility holodeck theory, but based on uh, my project that I'm working on to actually have something to show for with my work. Um, uh, room size. Here's the whole. Here's my whole title for it. The old Smothers Park lenticular box low tech holodeck experience. Basically it's based on my work, it's based on my um, lenticular box. Um, this thing up here, um, maybe I can bring that closer, I'm not sure, but uh, the lenticular box, this is of a scene, this is a photo cropped image, photoshopped image of uh, the lenticular box blending into the downtown riverfront. If you can't see it, that's all right because that's not what the property that I'm going to be working on with this project. I'm going to be building a room size, low tech holodeck, and um, let's see. I think I screwed stuff up. No, that's cool. Um, what that would mean with that, with that, I would have to remember where each image goes. Um, I'm working with murals, by the way. I'm working with um, seven by seven square foot murals. I have seven of them so far of, um, of Old Smothers Park that I took pictures of the park back in 2008. And um, before, way before I realized that they were going to tear down the park. I strategically took 30 pictures for a standard lenticular box, which would be like this, just the uh, head face on and the six faces of a normal box plus the edge on views of a box. Um, and the 12, the 12 edge on views based on two full images to come together at each edge on angle to create one full image like, um, I don't really have a, I have my lenticular box somewhere, but, uh, it, but anyway, um, what I'm working on is the holodeck part, the holodeck aspect, where you're inside the inverted box based on this diagram where the box is inverted from an exterior blending in low-tech invisibility to an interior blending in low-tech holodeck by switching the images around based on this uh, um, diagram. But um, um, I haven't ever built a room size lenticular holodeck, low tech holodeck. Um, but uh, the process would go like this. I'm building, right now I'm building a table saw and I'll get to that in a second. Right now I'm building a table saw based on a circular saw, using a circular saw because I'm too poor to afford a table, table saw. But um, I'm gonna cut up this plywood and I need to get 23 more like it. There needs to be 24 sheets of plywood to build um, 24 four by eight sheets, four by eight foot sheets of plywood. Then um, Luan, I believe that's the name of it, um, plywood to build one seven foot cubed lenticular holodeck. Um, which it would be this right here. This is the person standing inside of a beach scenery as you rotate around the images. It's just an example of what a holodeck would look like. And I was inspired by my trip down to Florida to a place called Hollywood Beach. And that's the boardwalk and that's the beach, that's the ocean. That's the person standing inside. And um, but um, by the end of this show, um, I'm going to go through how I made the table saw and everything. But by the end of this show, I'll have a few of my um, uh, 
old Smothers Park murals laid out or hung up on a stand outside to show you what I'm working with right now. And I got 30 more, to, I have 23, I have 23 more to go. I have seven, seven by seven foot square murals of Old Smothers Park that I took back in 2008. And I got 23 more to go at last count. And this is a uh, May, um, May 8th or 9th, I think. Today's the 8th, I'm not really sure. Um, this is not going to stand up. But uh, um, this is the inverted, an inverted lenticular box. You've seen them in my other in, um, public access shows. An inverted lenticular box is what I'm working on now, a large room size. I've never built one like that. And I'm sure that uh, amazed a lot of people, especially locally, with the Old Smothers Park. And um, huh. this thing's coming loose, but that's good. Um, my deacon at my church built this for me. His name's Moses Johnson. He built this for me. Um, it's a one foot grid of photographic, or what would be what I would use as photographic louvers to attach the murals. I don't know if you can see them. They're just right down here on the floor murals of Old Smithers Park in strips. I'm debating whether to use this size strip, a one inch wide strip, or um, a two inch wide strip, or a three inch wide strip. Me and my friend um, are debating that. She uh, prefers larger resolution. I prefer smaller resolution. She says that nobody can appreciate a smaller resolution unless they had my trained eye to appreciate it, or else they'd squint her. Whatever, trying to get the resolution right, but I believe that a one-inch cubicle, square cubicle, um, lenticular surface is about the right size for a room-size lenticular holodeck, low-tech holodeck. And um, on a regular lenticular box, there's six sides to a regular box, twelve edges to a regular box which becomes my edge on views where two images are put together at an angle to create one full angle, edge on angle. And there's eight corners to a regular box, which with a modified version of my lenticular box, you could have the eight corner angles. A regular standard lenticular box with the only 30 images that I've, 30 required images for a standard lenticular box that I took of Old Smothers Park back in 2008 that only comes together to create 12 images at an edge on, at a, two, two pairs of images at all 12 on the edge on views to create 12 images, 12 angles of view. Plus the flat backing of the box, the six um, flat faces, and 12 edge on views plus um, six faces is 18 viewing angles. But with a modified lenticular box, I don't have enough images of a, um, the Old Smothers Park to create a modified lenticular box. And um, I'm guessing it might have to have some sort of ana anamorphic technique to like bend the geometry of the photograph to fit the perspective of its final viewing angle with either itself or other photographs at a corner angle view, if I said that right. And um, uh, so, um, this is what I'm doing. I'm building a room size lenticular box holodeck, low tech holodeck. Um, um, but it's proof of my high tech applications in my theories of invisibility and holodeck technology, invisibility, adaptive camouflage, and holodeck virtual immersion theory. But it's the low tech counterpart. It's the low tech across the technological spectrum, the high tech version of my lenticular box is my wide interface I've discussed in all the previous um, um, episodes you've seen on public access. Well, um, that's, that's what I'm doing now and um, I guess I'll go ahead and show the, um, this is, this is uh, what I'm doing now, um, building 
uh, table saw out of a oh, out of a um, a circular saw. And um, here's all my pieces, all my MDF board and um, screwdriver and the circular saw itself. And um, I'm going to build a table saw so I can cut the plywood to build the louvers, build the grid sections. My grid panels will be 7 by 7 square foot tall. So it's about as tall as this room with six inches to spare. This is a seven and a half foot tall room. So you can imagine going from the corner. Um, you could definitely fit inside of it with room to stretch your arms and legs. And um, so this is what I'm doing now. And um, when I get finished with the table saw, I'll show what that comes to. Also, I'm gonna test, I've made test pieces of some strips of a previous a mural that weren't necessary. You can see the river looking out towards the river over the old gate. And I laid them out on a um, vinyl adhesive, floor adhesive. And I've let them dry till they can't be dry no more. They're as dry as they're gonna be. And I'm gonna, when I get my table saw finished, if I get it done in time before I have to return this camera, I'm gonna test out cutting the glued pieces, already glued, seeing if I can make my job easier by cutting already glued on murals to the plywood or if I'll have to, or if it would tear it to shreds and destroy it and if I'd have to take a more uh, precise approach like cutting the strips before applying them to the grid um, movers or whatever. Well, I hope I explained myself and uh, I'm gonna, I'll show the finished product when I get finished building this table saw and if I have time, I'll um, test a piece of this with the table saw. And um, I'll also show some murals hanging up to show my, um, show the seven murals of Old Smothers Park that I'm working on currently. I think this is May 8th or May 9th. Um, well, um, thanks a lot for watching and I'll get back here as soon as I can. Thanks a lot. Uh, this is one of my murals in no particular order and um, this is just down at the there is an order it goes from the bridge to the um, well it goes all the way around but this is the mural um, looking towards the um, what's now the 14 news station in Owensboro and the River Park Center well, I'm gonna take this down and put another one up thanks a lot this is another mural um, taken looking away directly away from the old river park um riverfront looking towards the parking garages and that's my mom's car sticking out the very front end of that this is going to be a side or a edge on view inside my lenticular box holodeck um that's it i guess this is um a mural seven by seven square foot mural looking towards a section of the bridge looking straight towards the river park center or straight towards the bridge um, um, the sunlight might, might there's a good image that's a Charles E. Shot memor memorial um, and there's a tree and it looks completely different there but I think that Charles E. Shot memorial is sitting at the same place in the new park that's this one. That's this mural. This is another mural. Um, uh, this is my fourth mural. And they're not in no particular order again. This is of uh, the lawyer's office or whoever it was um, back in 2008 on the other side of um, Smothers Park. This is looking across the street. This is one of the edge on views. I think all of these are edge on views. Not no flat backing, but edge on views. And there's 24 edge on views come together in pairs at 12 edge edges to create um, 24 angles, uh, 12 angles of view. And there's six flat backings for um, 18 total view and angles around a standard lenticular box. But this is just another one of them. 
This is looking towards the gazebo. This is uh, looking towards the gazebo at um, Old Smothers Park. And this is my fourth mural. These are not necessarily in order. These are not in order. I'm going around in a panorama. But um, this is my, this is the fourth in this series. And I got, uh, no wait, this is the fifth. This is the fifth. I've shown four already. This is the fifth. I got two more to go, but this is looking towards the gazebo. It's actually an angle view, I believe. I mean, it's an edge on view. I don't think I have any straight on views. Not yet. Um, thanks a lot. Okay, this is the sixth. This is the sixth mirror in this series, and they're not in order, of course. And this is the one that I happened to just got today, and today is May 8th for sure. May 8th, Tuesday, May 8th. Um, because Mother's Day is on Sunday 13th, um, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Thursday, Sunday, um, 14th, 15th, uh, 8th, 9th, 11th, 12th, 13th. So, uh, today is May 8th, Tuesday, May 8th, and this is the one I got in the mail today. It's uh, it's just past the gazebo looking towards the river. Um, this is the sixth in these seven um, murals that I'm showing right now. Uh, thanks a lot. This is the last of my murals that I have so far on this date, May 8th, Tuesday, 2018. Um, this is uh, this is a view. This is the other half of the bridge, looking spanning out into the river. Um, this is a um, this is the seventh and the last uh, mural that I have so far. I have 23 more murals of Oaks Mother's Park to get, seven by seven square foot, um, 23. And I have these are my seven so far, and I, I need 23 more to have a complete set of 30 seven by seven with square murals of Old Smothers Park from my Old Smothers Park Lenticular Box Low Tech Holodeck experience. Well, this is the end of this segment. Thanks a lot. Um, this is how far I've gotten with my table saw. Today's Thursday, May um, 10th. And um, this i uh, I screwed the circular saw to the bottom of this MDF board. I screwed in all the holes, all the five holes around the base, and I measured it to make sure it was straight. It was true um, for a straight cut. Um, and uh, these are these are two, I guess, studs. I'm not sure two before's. Um, well, it's actually one. Ha one and a half inches and uh whatever that might be four inches one and a half to four inches um and um and i'm gonna use these boards this board right here and this board right here to screw to these studs i guess i'll just call them studs for one of the legs going up and another of the legs going up and then I'll turn this whole thing upside down um, and put in uh, this board as a spacer in between the two um, leg boards on both sides of the table. Put in this board as a spacer, it's 30 inches. This is the table tops 36 inches a foot, three foot, and this is 30 inches. So it would fit in the This is what I have finished so far with my um, table saw um, made from a circular saw. Um, the saw blade comes up through here and uh, it measures square. Um, measures square. Um, and uh, I just need to get a um, power strip to already made the hose on the side to um, zip tie it to there and to plug the to put a put a zip tie on the trigger of the circular saw and then plug my circular saw in so I can turn it on through a power strip here and um, I guess I should be finished 
but um, I'm not sure if I'll have time to test this strip out, the strip of a uh, adhesive um, um, mural pieces um, with adhesive glue to the plywood. I'll try to uh, see, but um, I'd like to have somebody here with me to spot me on my first use of this. But um, um, this is my table saw made from a circular saw. There's the circular saw down there. This is the these are the clamps. And so, well, that's about it. Well, um, this is the table saw that I made. Um, I just cut this a little few minutes ago. Um, let me get this out of the way. I just made this cut. And um, this is my piece of my mural with a adhesive, mural adhesive on a piece of plywood and it makes a clean cut. So maybe I can put my murals, maybe I can put my murals onto my plywood and cut them without having to put on the murals on individually. So this is how I plan to cut my um, strips. Um, except it'd be done a better job. I just went through here to test it out. But this is the this is the table saw that I made, homemade from a um, circular saw beneath. And uh, this is how I'm gonna build my old Smothers Park lenticular box low tech holodeck experiment or experience. This is the end of my um, exhibit, my series, uh, my episode for my series of my detailing the progress of my old Smothers Park lenticular box low tech holodeck experience. And um, these are, this is, these are, this is just a um, display board to tell how to make it, one version of how to make it. You definitely need to have them all spread out or have them spread out in your mind to put all the murals together in the right way they're supposed to go on the in the holodeck aspect of it um, in the holodeck aspect um, and uh, this is just one version of it of its exterior invisible low-tech invisible mode um, um, this shows the inversion process um, from an exterior low-tech invisible mode to an interior low-tech holodeck mode and um, this is an idea of the shape of the grid that I want to make for the six panels that go gridded panels that go around the room size lenticular, lenticular box low-tech holodeck and this shows that there's eight more different corner angle views that could be applied to a standard lenticular box of only 18 viewing angles. This is a 26 sided viewing angle, a modified lenticular box. Well, thanks a lot for uh, um, watching this. Um, watching this show and uh, watching this uh, presentation and um, um, I hope my work interests y'all I'm sort of sweating in here I um, need to shave um, I hope my work interests you and um, continue to watch public access for further updates on my on the progress of my old Smothers Park lenticular box holodeck experience thanks a lot Marco.